BMW puts the letter X and the number 4 together for their new cross coupe thing. The first production 2014 Stingray convertible sells for a cool million dollars at auction. The six Fast and the Furious film trailer is parodied with RC cars. And a family tries to cross the Swiss border to go on a nice Easter vacation. Sounds about normal, right? Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that. Yeah. Did I mention with $6 million in laundered gold bars in the car? You did not. Well, then I just did. Plus a couple videos on how not to do a wheelie. Hello, everybody. I'm Derek Dean. This is Fast Lane Daily Tuesday. Later this month at the Shanghai Auto Show, BMW is going to present a shrunken version of their X6 Cross Coupe. This one will be called, surprise, surprise, the X4. Now all they need is that X2 and the cipher is complete, Tom. Mm. Yeah. Right, Max? Yeah. Anyway, the production version of this X4 concept will go on sale in early 2014 and will be built right here in the good old US of A. It will most likely use the 2.0 twin turbo engine from the new 328i, which makes 240 ponies, and the 300 horsepower twin turbo in line six. Now, if you ask me, I'd say this is a fine looking little cross coupe thingy. But if you were BMW's head of design, Domogoy Duketch, I'm sorry if I murdered your name, you'd probably say this. It's the combination of the simple silhouette and very expressive surfaces. So yeah, we're gonna go with what he said. Right. That sounds good. That's a better combination, I think. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's just pretend for a moment here, okay, Max? Sure. All right, you're on vacation, or as some say, holiday with your family of five. Right. Okay. You're casually making your way out of Italy on your way to Switzerland and uh, border authorities discover six million dollars of gold bars in your car. Oh my god. Yeah like wait what? Yeah. Like where did that come from? Exactly. I know. You're just an average Swiss banker spending some quality time with your family on an Easter vacation. Right. Although you and your family do happen to be acting really nervous. Okay. Something seems fishy. What do you mean, accused of money laundering? What? I know, right? You've never seen those bars in your life, right? No, no, never. Yeah. Well, at least you'll have plenty of time to recall where those came from when you enjoy a long vacation in one of the greatest resorts in the world, jail. Or it might be a, a gentle J, so it might be jail. Right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Barrett Jackson, host of the auction of the first production 2014 Corvette Stingray Convertible. The final bid hit $1 million dollars coming from Rick Hendrick, owner of the NASCAR team, Hendrick Motorsports. All proceeds from the sale go to the Barbara Ann Carmanos Cancer Institute, which is awesome. We still don't have full details on the production convertible, including specs on the soft top and the mechanism that lowers the top at up to 30 miles per hour, but it will likely look the same as the concept. In future news, man buys Corvette for a million dollars, said by no one ever. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. The real trailer for the Fast and the Furious 6 looks pretty action-packed, but what if you replaced all those real cars with RC cars? Well, Nitro RCX gave it a go, and what they came up with is actually pretty friggin' good. They even had a plane at the end there, which was good. The link for this is in the description. You can watch it and then compare it to the real trailer of Real Fast 6. Actually, speaking of trailers, have you guys seen the trailer to the movie Rush? It's phenomenal. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Directed by Ron Howard. Is that right? Yeah. If you haven't seen that, link will, we'll, we'll put the link in the description of that too. We'll find room. We'll find room. All right, look at this idiot showing off on his motorcycle. Hey, look at me. I'm cool with my left leg up on my seat. A wheelie time, yeah, a fail. He goes down. I mean, come on, dude. Looks like he pulled it up just a little too hard, and then the rack on the back hit the ground, and then, well, he hit the ground. But at least he was wearing his helmet, Tom, unlike this old couple. This old dude's obviously trying to impress his lady friend with the revving. Then revs it a little too much and bam! Right on their backs they go. And one thing's for sure, you won't be seeing her on her back for a while after this. That's right. Oh! oh. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, link is in the description if you want to see those videos as well. Wear your helmets! Right, Ian? Yes. Ian's been hit on a motorcycle before, but he lived. Because he's the man. And he's here. Tell us about it. All right. With all that being said, that brings us to the end of today's Fast Lane Daily. Thanks for watching. I'm Derek D. We're on Twitter. Follow us there. Facebook, like us there. YouTube, you go ahead and subscribe. iTunes Watch, Instagram Pictures, T-shirts, buy them. FLD app, Rocket. 
And uh, Tom, you're on Twitter. What's your Twitter name? Uh, it's uh, at Tom Albrecht. Yeah. Max, what about you? Oh, God. It's at Max Seeger. Yeah. And I'm at the Derek D. And those are our Twitters. And Alan is at Alan Kyle. Right? Yeah. Go ahead and follow us. And uh, JF is JF Musial, and Ian is Ian Whalen. It's the FLD team getting ready for another big show. Did I mention $6 million in laundered gold bores? And the 300 horsepower twin turbo inline six. I'm a single guy. Jeff, you probably saw Deal with it. Yeah. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.